Hey guys, Ty here with Texas Brew and Barbecue and welcome to the backyard. Today we are making something a little bit out of the box, even though it's out of the box. At Texas Brew and Barbecue, we like to make things simple and we like to simplify some recipes. So that is what we're doing here today. Now, my great friends over at Rectech shipped me the RTB380X. That is the newest bullseye. And man, I'm excited about this. This bullseye gets up to a thousand degrees. It's got Wi-Fi capabilities. It's got a nice sturdy base to it. It's got a nice shelf on the bottom. This bullseye is, they knocked it out of the park with this one. So I'm so glad to add this to my Rectech family out here in the backyard. All right, so today, what are we doing? We are doing some smoked apple bacon stuffing. All right, we're gonna get right into this. So we have a bacon. You're gonna use about a half a pound of bacon and we are gonna chop this up it doesn't have to be perfect, just chop it up. Now, while we have that bacon cooking down, we are gonna be taking two of these Granny Smith apples and we are gonna peel them and dice them. So you just wanna peel the apples. So I'm just gonna chop all this apple up. All right, so we're gonna go over the ingredients here. I have two Granny Smith apples chopped, diced, however fine you'd like them. You got about a stalk and a half of celery, diced finely. One whole white onion. I've got a half a tablespoon of brown, light brown sugar and two minced cloves of garlic. So once this bacon renders down, we're gonna take it and transfer it to a, a paper towel on a plate, let that grease drain out of it. Then we're gonna take the apples, the garlic, the brown sugar, the celery, and the onion, and we are going to mix all of that and we're gonna cook it until it's soft in the bacon grease, which will take about seven minutes. So what we're gonna do while we have all of this other stuff cooking down, this, it's a two-step process. You can do it in pieces if you want, but we are going to boil a cup and a half of water, and then we are gonna do a cup and a half of chicken stock along with six tablespoons of butter. And we are gonna bring this to a boil. I'm using stovetop stuffing right here. Okay, this is turkey stuffing. I got two boxes. You can use, if you don't have stovetop available to you, get, get the, ready, the ready stuffing, you know, get the stuff that's already ready to go. So once this comes to a boil, we're gonna put our, our stuffing mix in there. We're gonna stir it up and we're gonna let it sit for about two minutes while the rest of this is cooking down. Okay, so we took the bacon off, it's draining. Now we are gonna add our onion, one whole onion. Leave the bacon grease in there. We want all that grease to get into all this. Celery. Garlic. Brown sugar. Come on, brown sugar. There you go. And the star of the show which is gonna be these beautiful green Granny Smith apples. All of this goes into the skillet. And we are gonna let this just sit here and simmer until those apples soften down, those onions get nice and soft and translucent, and the same with the celery. Just make sure you mix all the garlic and the brown sugar together because that's gonna bring all those flavors and tie everything together. You won't make stuffing any other way after you have this, I promise you. This, it's, it's really good. Now, if you don't wanna use the, uh, the box stuffing and you wanna make your own, be my guest, make your own, but make sure you put this mixture with it because it's gonna, gonna take it over the edge. So now we're at the part where we got the water and the chicken stock boiling. We're putting in our, uh, our packages of mix there and we are gonna mix all of this together. Apples, onions, celery, and that beautiful bacon. Non-stick spray. And we are gonna take this and put it right inside this pan. We're gonna let this go for 10 to 15 minutes on the Bullseye Deluxe. And once we are done with that, we are gonna garnish it with a little parsley. We're gonna dive into it. I'm telling you, this is gonna be one of the best stuffing sides you're gonna make this holiday season. All right, we'll see you guys in about 10 minutes. All right, let's get some of that bacon. Let's get that apple. This is all mine, so no one else is eating this. Bacon, apple, smoked stuffing. Mm. 
The apple, I left them a little bit crunchy. That way there's some texture there. The celery and the onions, of course the bacon, even with that bacon grease in there, it kind of just coated everything and gave it a really good flavor. Guys, this is an awesome way to make stuffing. Really simple, didn't take long at all, probably 30 minutes total. I can't say anything else about this. Go make this for the holidays, or if you're just a stuffing person, make it whenever. All right guys, we will see you in the next video. Cheers.